welcome to the course on data science for engineers. In this module, we are going to introduce R as a programming language to perform data analysis. In this lecture, we are going to give a brief introduction about R and R studio. In R studio, we are going to look how to set the working directory, how to create an R file and save it, how to execute an R file and how to execute pieces of R code. Let us first see what is R. R is an open source programming language that is widely used as a statistical software and data analysis tool. R generally comes with a command line interface. R is available across widely used platforms Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Now let us see what is R Studio. R Studio is an integrated development environment for R. Integrated development environment is a GUI where you can write your codes, see the results and also see the variables that are generated during the course of programming. R Studio is available as both open source and commercial software. R Studio is also available as both desktop version and server version. For this course, we are going to use open source desktop edition so that you can solve your assignments using this R Studio. R Studio is also available for various platforms such as Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Now let us see how an R Studio looks when you first run an application. This is how an R Studio interface looks when you first run the application. To the left we see console panel where you can type in the commands and see the results that are generated when you type in the commands. To the top right you have environment and history pane. It contains two tabs, the environment tab where it shows the variables that are generated during the course of programming in a workspace which is temporary and in the history tab you will see all the commands that are used till now from the beginning of usage of R studio. To the right bottom you have another panel which contains multiple tabs such as files, plots, packages and help. The files tab shows the files and directories that are available in the default workspace of R. The plots tab shows the plots that are generated during the course of programming and the packages tab helps you to look what are the packages that are already installed in the R studio and it also gives an user interface to install new packages. The help tab is the most important one where you can get help from the R documentation on the functions that are inbuilt in R. The final and last tab is the viewer tab which can be used to see the local web content that is generated using R or some other application. For this course we are not going to use this tab for much so we limit ourselves not to discuss more about that viewer tab. So we have got an idea about how R studio looks. Let's see how to set the working directory in R studio. The working directory in R studio can be set in two ways. The first way is to use the console and using the command set working directory. You can use this function set working directory and give the path of the directory which you want to be the working directory for R studio in the double quotes or to set the working directory from the GUI you need to click on this three dots button. When you click this, this will open up a file browser which will help you to choose your working directory. Once you choose your working directory, you need to use this setting button in the more tab and click it and then you get a pop up menu where you need to select set as working directory. This will select the current directory which you have chosen using this file browser as your working directory. Once you set the working directory, you are ready to program in R studio. Let us illustrate how to create an R file and write some code. To create an R file, there are two ways. The first way is you can click on the file tab. From there, when you, when you click, it will give a drop down menu where you can 
select new file and then R script so that you will get a new R file open. The other way is to use the plus button that is just below the file tab and you can choose R script from there to open a new R script file. Once you open an R script file, this is how an R studio with a script file open looks like. So, three panels control, environment and history and files and plots panels are there. On top of that, you have a new window which is now being opened as a script file. Now, you are ready to write a script file or some program in R studio. So, let us illustrate this with a small example where I am assigning a value of 11 to A in the first line of the code which I have written and you have B which is A times 10 that is the second command. I am evaluating the value of A times 10 and assigning the value to the B and the third statement which is print C of A comma B concatenates this A and B and print the result. So, this is how you write a script file in R. Once you write a script file, you have to save this file before you execute it. Let us see how to save the R file. From the file menu, if you click the file tab, you can either save the file. When you want to save the file, if you click the save button, it will automatically save the file as untitled X. So, uh, this X can be 1 or 2 depending upon how many R scripts you have already opened or it is a nice idea to use the save as button just below the save one. So, that you can rename the script file according to your wish. Let us suppose we have clicked the save as button, this will pop out a window like this where you can rename the script file as test R or the one which you are intended to. Once you rename, you can say save that will save the script file. So, now we have seen how to open an R script and how to write some code in the R script file. The next task is to execute the R file. There are several ways you can execute the commands that are available in the R file. The first way is to use run command. This run command can be executed using the GUI by pressing the run button there or you can use a shortcut key this is control plus enter. What it does is it will execute the line in which the cursor is there. The other ways to run the R code are using source or source with echo. The difference between source and source with echo is the following. The source command executes the whole R file and only prints the output which you want it to print. Whereas, source with echo prints the commands also along with the output you are printing. So, this is an example where I have executed the R file using the source with echo. You can see in the console that it printed A the command A equal to 11 and the command B is equal to A times 10 and also the output print C of A comma B with the value. So, A is 11 and B is 11 times 10 this is 110. So, this is how the output will be printed in console. So, that is the result. Now, let us see how to execute the pieces of code in R. As we have seen earlier, you can use run command to run the single line. right? So, now let us try to assign value 14 for A and then try to run it. So, how do you do this? Take your cursor to the line which you want to edit, replace that 11 by 14 and then use control enter or the run button. This will execute only the line where the cursor is placed. In the environment pane, you can see that only value of A has been changed and the B value remains same. This is because we have executed only the line 2 of the code which changed the value of A, but we have not executed the code of line 3. So, the B value remains as is. Value of A has changed, but not the value of B. In summary, we can say that run can be used to 
execute the selected lines of R code, source and source with echo can be used to run the whole file. The advantages of using run is you can troubleshoot or debug the program when something is not behaving according to your expectations. The disadvantages of using run command is it populates the console and make it messy unnecessarily. In the next lecture, we are going to see how to add comments to the R file and how to add comments to the single line and multiple lines etcetera. Thank you.